We're continuing to follow the latest developments on the terrorist attacks in Paris. We want to bring in Zusa Kover. She was inside mm -hmm. the concert hall, the Bataclan, and managed to escape 10 minutes before the carnage began. Those hostages were taken. Zusa, thanks for being with us. Hey, hey, guys. So explain to us exactly what happened, where you were, and how it all went down. Yeah, um, we were a bit late for the concert, so we went straight up to the balcony because it was really packed. It was a sold-out event. Um, so it's like an old theater, um, but they don't have chairs downstairs, but they still have the chairs upstairs. Um, so we were kind of sitting up there, and between two songs, uh, we just hear this um, shooting going on. But we first we didn't know like if it's shooting like that's that's not something you expect on a gig, so um, we were just trying to figure out what's happening and then uh, we just see that everyone is laying on the floor downstairs. So um, we start to think through what to do with my boyfriend. Um, yeah, and then um, we mir miraculously we get out. Susa, when you say that there were people lying on the ground down there, we just saw the picture that you took, which we can maybe put yeah. up again here, of, yeah, there's the stage. So she's on we the can balcony. See, yeah, your picture from the balcony, and there are people standing in front of the stage. When you say that That's people right. were lying on the floor, where yeah. were they? Were they closest to the front of the stage, or were they further back? Well, I think um, the first reaction from their side is, was just to lay down. Like, no one actually knew what's happening. Like, you know, everyone is facing the stage. Um, they just hear these voices, and they just, they, I think immediately everybody just laid down on the floor. Um, and basically, um, when the shooting did not stop, um, that's when people started reacting and, and trying to get out of the, 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 like, the place itself. Could you see the men, the people who were shooting? Um, I personally didn't see. Uh, my boyfriend saw one of the, one of the guys. What did, did he tell you what, what he looked like, what he what was carrying? Um, he just saw that it's like a machine gun, and he also saw that there was a, like a bag with him, um, possibly with other, um, other, other uh, things with it. So. Um, it was really hectic. It was like 10 minutes, um, so um, how we got, when we got out, so. And, and did you hear, um, I don't really. And did you hear explosions at all? No, no explosions. No, Z only shooting. Zusa, uh, now that you know you've escaped this horrific situation in which over 100 people were killed, you were in that uh, theater listening to that band, uh, what goes through your mind? Um, that I'm incredibly lucky um, and I'm really grateful, um, especially to my boyfriend who worked there before and he knew he actually advised like which way to go and which um, exit we should take. Um, so that was really good. Uh, we stayed um, really focused. Um, but the shock is like it's 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 a huge shock. And if I just um, think of what could have happened if we would have been separated or uh, we could not get out, it's just um, I don't really want to think about it at the moment. T tell us about this band that you went to see. Yeah, Eagles of Death Metal. They're a really good U.S. band. Um, actually, they're touring Europe at the moment. Um, um, we actually went for other gigs to Paris. It was really like a last minute decision from our side to just to pop in. Uh, we just landed in Paris um, two hours before um, we wow. got to the venue. Wow, that's wow. incredible. Did you see when the when you first heard the shootings, um, because you had that vantage point from where you're up there, we see your picture there where we can see the band clearly. Uh, did you see yeah. what they did? Did they go running? Did they keep playing? What happened with them? No, they did, like it was between two songs, um, and they immediately went off stage. Um, first, we thought that this is, you know, somehow connected to the show or some, like, like special feature. But then, when like when the sound did not stop, then then we just had to realize on the balcony because we didn't see, you know, what's going on right under us um, that it's that it's not it's not part of the show at all. Did you see anyone get hit? Uh, I personally didn't see. Um, we met a lot of people outside. Um, we kept running for quite a while, um, and they were they were kind of hurt. And I think um, some people also jumped out of the window 
we were pretty up high. It's like a three-story building. Um, I think they made the decision. Um, so I think a lot of people got hurt just um, getting out of the venue. Right, because there, there probably would have been panic. Yeah. Inside. Uh, yeah, there was panic actually when we were when we were trying to get uh, down on the on the like it, it was a, like a staircase um, close to the backstage area. Um, there was panic when we heard the shooting is like coming um, towards us. Um, there was panic, um, but we tried to like it was like 25 or 30 of us, and we tried to manage manage each other and just to keep calm. We get out. There's a door. There's an emergency door, and um, we try to help each other as much as we can. Well, you know, Zusa, it is incredible. We're so happy that you and your boyfriend are safe. That you were able to escape uh, what is a horrific scene, and we thank you for calling into yes, us. We thank, really appreciate. Thank it. you very much, Zusa. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.